right, y'all. So it's part of that day. We find out what the f is going on with that situation. It's my favorite one. This is where we find out what's going on behind the scenes, right? So let's see. We have rebirth, love offer, soulmate, toxic connection, stable and grounded, and not into you. Ooh, somebody wants to rebirth the connection with you. They're with someone right now that's a toxic connection, and they're not even into them no more. Like, when they sleep with them, they like they ain't even into them. Let me cover that up for y'all. They ain't even into them. Look at them. They on their phone. I feel like they stay because that's where the stability is. They stay because that's their home. Yeah. But it's a toxic connection, y'all. It's toxic. And they want to rebirth this connection and offer you love. You're their soulmate. Mm. Let's see, y'all. Spirit, what messages do you have? Oh. Ignoring the signs. Somebody's been ignoring the signs of this connection for a long time. Seeking options. They were trying to fulfill themselves in other in other areas of their, you know, with other people in their life. Dark night of the soul. But they've been going through it. Intense chemistry. They've been going through a very, this has been very painful this, for this person, y'all. Family ties. Right. Right. It's like this person, first of all, if it wasn't true, it would have been somebody else. Let me just say that. So I don't know who this is for. If you feel guilty or feel some type of way about being with somebody who's in a commitment or a marriage or whatever the case may be. If it wasn't you, it would have been somebody else because this person was hell-bent on seeking options outside of that toxic connection because it's toxic. And there's a lot of changes going on right now with this person. And I feel like the way that they deal with that is seeking other options outside of their commitment. Okay. The chemistry between the two of you is very intense. They know it now, even though they were ignoring the signs for very long, but there is family ties here. So somebody has a family. Bad at love. Exposed. Somebody got exposed to the toxic karmic situation. Pure intentions. Grief. The karmic. I told you. Distant. I told you. This person has been exposed about how much they love you. How much they care about you has been exposed. The karmic knows, y'all. The karmic knows. Mm. This person doesn't i feel like it's like they were they were bad or like this person like they don't know how to love or it's something like that like they're not good with commitment they don't know how to make commitments and keep them crossroads stuck in decisions loner isolated twin flame connection i can't make it up this person has been alone by themselves thinking about you trying to you know they would they want to come back towards you reunion and return but i feel like there was some kind of like rejection or loss here things ended with you and this person like, there was an ending with no victory, an ending with no victor, however you want to call it. Um, bottom line here, though, is that this person is at a crossroads in their life because they are going through a dark night of the soul. So there's a lot of painful things taking place and changing in their life. Let's take this two-part dose. 